nice day today. Yeah, I guess it is kind of a nice day today. You want to turn on some music or something? You know, for the audience? Um, uh, what audience, Adam? Came for the Dead Don't Die review. Are we doing a review today? Yeah. That's why you invited me over. Huh. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Oh, the dead don't die anymore. Hey Adam, why is this sound so familiar? Well, it's the theme song. You know, Dead Don't Die by Sturgill Simpson. You know, it's kind of odd that we're driving here listening to a song about dying. Does it seem a lot to you? Yeah. Yeah, it does seem odd. I don't think this is going to end very well. Someday we're gonna wake up and find the corners gone. But the dead will still be walking around this whole world alone. Welcome back, everybody, to the Z Mam Show. As you can see, we are gonna talk the movie The Dead Don't Die. And joining me today is my awesome good buddy and Dead Nightmare co star, Adam Kurtz. How's it going, people? First time on the show. Looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, so Adam, he uh, he had a good chance to see this movie. He was over one night and doing game night or whatever, and we had a chance to watch this movie. And I told him, I said, I want you to watch this zombie movie because I'm not, even at times, I'm not even sure how I feel about it, right? And so I wanted Adam to watch and see his uh, take on it all. And as we were talking about it, and we went, I wanted to bring Adam onto the show so we could talk some more movies and some other fun stuffs in the future. This was our our intro one. So welcome, Adam. And um, so the, de- the dead don't die. Uh, I don't know if this is going to end very well. <laughs> Man, this isn't going to end well, Cliff. He's just got this deadpan style right. of humor, and like it, like the movie. The movie is all about that deadpan style of humor, but I think Adam Driver really drives it home. I mean, even with Bill Murray in there, that's like his classic thing. But Driver just has. So many lines that really just hit on the humor of the movie. So what are you thinking? You really want to know? I'm thinking zombies. So obviously this is a zombie movie, and this movie does good things, and it's paying a lot of respects to the zombie heritage, and especially George Romero and his style of film. And Adam, you brought up a good point as we were talking a little bit earlier before we started recording about the seriousness of this, of this movie. Right. And I think I think what the movie does well on a very fundamental level is it's is it's not only an homage, but also kind of a spoof of the zombie series of, of a lot of zombie genre films. Mm-hmm. And so, like, it, it's very true to a lot of the formulas in the zombie movies, while at the same time poking fun at it from time to time. And right. I think I think you almost have to go into this movie knowing that that's what you're going to get. You know, like, I mean, like. T- Tilda Swinton is not going to deliver a line that's going to be repeated at the Oscars next year in this movie. That's not what you're looking for oh, out no. of this film. But if you're going into it, you're just looking for like a kind of a slap happy good time, um, poking fun at a movie genre that maybe you really like and enjoy. I mean, I think you're going to get a lot out of it, and I think that's really where it excels. That's very true. And and I was telling you also that, and I want the audience to get out because I want to hear your guys' opinion too. If you've watched this movie, make sure you leave some comments here because I want to hear some uh, commentary on this a little bit. But, like, the first time I watched this, and I'm pretty sure I gave it a decent amount of attention. I wasn't, like, editing or something in the background. But I remember just kind of feeling like, man, this does feel like it's kind of drawing on. And I'm like, and I'm just kind of like, you know, I just, I felt like I need a little bit more, like, pow, pow. And I got it in certain moments, and that helped alleviate some of that anxiety, but not getting too much out of the movie, or not getting enough out of the movie. But then I watched it a second time, and I remember enjoying it a lot more than I did the first time. And then Adam, then we watched it together, and you know, I, I saw how you were enjoying it, and I was, I just found myself laughing again too, and I enjoyed it even a little bit more. Uh, the movie currently holds at a five point five on IMDb, which many of the viewers who watch the show know that I use IMDb because I feel it's kind of a even keel area for uh, ratings of movies and you know watching out for the fake reviews, uh, Rotten Tomatoes. But anyways. Uh, Anything over a five is definitely watchable. But I was kind of surprised that this got a, a five five. It seems a little low. I mean, Adam, what do you think? I think um, 
I think when it comes to movie reviews, I've kind of learned to uh, read the critics, if that makes any sense. And I, to me, this, is this isn't a movie that a critic's going to look at and say, oh, man, this is great. A like, great piece of like cinema. For instance, <laughs> yeah. It's like, for instance, the reason I went to see Wedding Crashers when it first came out is it's a critic. It's a movie that critics usually hate, and they actually loved right. it. And I remember thinking, oh, this must be really good. So you almost got to, when you're reading from the critics, you almost got to know how they're going to evaluate the movie. And honestly, for a zombie movie, I think 5.5 is pretty solid. I don't think you're going to see a whole lot of them getting a lot higher than that. There are exceptions, of course, but I'm just like, eh, it's the critics. They're not going to like Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And it had a decent cast as well. We were starring uh, Bill Murray um, and Adam Driver. Those are the two main police officers. And I think they work really well off of each other. Uh, I, I, th- I think Bill, yeah. Bill is such a seasoned comedian and actor anyways. And not that Adam is by any means any lower it's just but you know bill's just got all that talent behind him and i think he can read the other actor and definitely play off of that energy whatever energy that may be right Uh, yeah and and like i was saying earlier i think driver really hits that deadpan humor but murray's got all that experience he just brings it in and they feed off of each other really well and then just to mention some other names i mean like Danny Glover, Tilda Swinton. I mean, uh, Selena Gomez is a huge name, but wow. uh, she's in it too. So, uh, I mean, like, Danny Glover. There's, there's some people in it. Even old uh, Lethal Weapon Danny Glover was in there. Not for a, right. a huge role, but enough to, to work it out. It was kind of cool seeing him back in there. Um, and I, did we mention Steve Buscemi was also in it? No, I haven't mentioned him yet either. Any, anyway, so it had some decent names. I mean, the cast was not exactly lacking. Um, the story was interesting. So... We, we get off with this, uh, talking the plot a little bit. I guess the Earth is, uh, it's access. It's, aren't we like, was it either slowing down or, or going backwards or something? Of sorts? I got it. Yeah, the, it tilt, it's tilt changes. Tilt and changes. so like what ends up happening is, it, 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 and I think it's actually affecting the rotation of the Earth as well. So like days, days and nights, like sun up and sundown don't happen at the same time that they used to. Uh-huh. So like I remember the big, the big like, the big kind of changing moment in the plot was when Bill Murray's checking his watch and he's like, it's eight 30 or it was either Bill Murray or Adam driver's character. And they're like, they're like, why hasn't the sun gone down right. yet? And of course it's that straight deadpan style of humor. So you don't even really know if it means anything yet. If they're just being, you know, just kind of along the style of humor of the movie, but it ends up being pretty important. And there are several other, side characters that mention it as well Mm -hmm. but basically i thought what was kind of interesting about this is it like it's like this phenomenon is actually what's driving the zombies in this case rather than like a virus or something like that so i thought that that was pretty unique even though even though it didn't change like you know you get bit you come a zombie i mean that part was still there like i thought the fact that this that this phenomenon caused the uh caused the zombie yeah, apocalypse right. was was pretty unique i agree so. and i have watched a lot of zombie movies and it, this was definitely a different take on it all nice to not see the old virus taking over things but also to see the dead actually rising from the grave as well uh right. graves i should say um and the other kind of interesting thing with the dead is they like remember a certain term or whatever a memory that was important to them and they repeated which you know the one said in the first what they're doing the coffee or whatever coffee right you know and they're doing <laughs> but but that's you know but again that plays off the heritage to romero because um in, in a lot of his movies and movies of remakes they always talk about how the dead you know are they're going back and doing what they remember like uh and i think it was uh is it dawn of the dead yeah dawn of the dead basically they were heading towards the mall and there were comments made about how you know, they're going back to those places that used to be important to them or what they remember back. is. So it's mm. almost like it's that cognitive thing that's just stuck right there, but it's it doesn't go past it, right? They still stick right, to those, right. those that, that only that need, which is the need to feed, right? The feed on flesh and brains and whatever else. You ask me, this whole thing is going to end badly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I th- and I think like you're saying, like there are things that are different about it. You know, like the humor style is certainly unique to the zombie genre. Um, yeah. The the occurrence of the supernatural is unique, but there are a lot of staples that are still there. And like that's a unique twist on it. But like you said, they're they're borrowing and they're honoring kind of other movies in the same time. So while at the same yes. time, so while it's half spoof, it's also like half, like you said, homage. And so it's funny, but it's also kind of like a it's like a 
it's almost like an, an ode to those other flicks that have kind of, you know, come yes. first and laid the groundwork. So Absolutely. And there's nothing it, wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with taking pieces because that's what all movies ultimately do. And especially even more now than ever, so much has already been done. So the chances of somebody coming out and doing a fully original, nothing, you know, yeah. partially copied, I... You guys are hoping for way too much. I mean, I'm sorry, especially for a lot of you younger viewers. And I could say that because I feel like I'm even we're getting older a little bit, Adam, but we're not that old. But, yeah. but you know what I mean? Like if you're expecting yeah, some, like there's so much cinema out there, guys. So I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, you're not going to get it. And if you are, you're expecting way too much. And I think that's the problem with a lot of viewers today, Adam. I think they expect too much or the buildup or the hype. They're like, oh, a zombie yeah. movie. And oh, yeah, it's going to be. And then they see it and they're like. Oh, but that's already been done. Well, no shit, Sherlock. I mean, that's the whole point. I think kind of building on what you were saying, um, you know, there are things about this movie that are interesting, and there are things about the movie that that are, that are, you know, that are, so there are some things that are unique, and there are some things that aren't. Right. So we talked about the humor. We talked about the the arrival of the zombie apocalypse. But, you know, like, mm-hmm. the the same survival mechanics still work. The zombie behavior is the same way. I think I think, you know, what it really comes down to is like, you know, people are going to like what they like and people are going to not like what they don't like. I really like the, the interactions like between um, like Steve Buscemi's character, which is pretty much a this racist, you know, white farmer guy. Yeah. Except he's kind of like closet racist, I guess. So like he or, yeah. or at least he's maybe trying not to be, but he can't help himself. <laughs> right. And his right. interactions with Danny Glover in the diner, uh, which you can tell they're friends, but. Yeah, there's still yeah. there's still that something in there, and not by the way, not that racism is funny, but I liked how they didn't take themselves too seriously, you know, and right, and maybe that maybe that plays off a little something of what's going on in America, well, what's been going on in America forever, but not to get on a rant on that. It's just, but it was cool seeing their interaction, and it was tastefully done, and it was funny, right, and and even throughout the movie, I mean, I, I think even Bill Murray at one point, um, him and Adam Driver are talking, and they're talking about you know we need to round up you know what people are left in the town you know and get them to safety and they're, and they're like what about farmer frank and then i think Adam, and, then, and bill murray basically says without me get to f farmer frank you know or whatever and, <laughs> right like nobody likes no, him. no right and then after i was like but he yeah. but he is part of the town and you know bill murray's like oh you know anyways but it was things like that and the humor <laughs> the points they really did hit but if you don't like dry humor and like you said that uh yeah. deadpan humor then yes, this is gonna. This movie will not be for you. It's gonna drag on, and you're probably gonna end up not liking it. So maybe that gives you a little heads up before you go see it, or if you've already seen yeah. it, maybe you can agree or disagree. Yeah, and, and kind of given my take on it, like you said, it does it does a lot of it does a lot of things well. Mm. Like I don't know that there's one area that it just like like this is this one area is amazing. Like the thing that I liked about it was the combination of things. Yeah. So like if you're looking for like there are there are movies out there that are just solid like best zombie movies of all time. There are movies out there that are funniest movies of all time. Mm-hmm. There are movies out there where it's like this is a super interesting premise. And I doubt you know like like Inception by Christopher mm-hmm. Nolan speaks out to that for me. It's a great movie. This is a movie that does a little bit of a lot of different things, and that's what I appreciate about it. Yeah. Like, is it the funniest movie I've seen? It's not the most interesting premise I've seen. It's probably not the best zombie flick out there from a strictly zombie perspective. Right. But it's funny. It's got a good acting cast. The premise is interesting. It stays true to the genre. And I think I think that if you're into those things, you're going to like it. If you're not, right. I mean, obviously, got to go look somewhere else. But I enjoyed it. I'd watch it again. Very good. And another interesting thing, just because I know we've talked enough pretty much our takes on it, but Hermit Bob, which is played by, uh, is it Tom Waits, I think his name is? And, uh, with, Sounds right. Yeah, and he's he's a long time actor and whatnot. I haven't seen him in a ton of stuff, but I know he's been around many year. And uh, but it's interesting because as the movie goes on, he narrates at different pieces points. Excuse me of the movie, which kind of makes me wonder myself. I've been trying to figure this out. Like, is this movie's point of view really? Is this kind of like his story? Kind of like because he's narrating, seeing it, or is it more Adam Drive? Or uh, is it more uh, what are the names? Uh, uh, Cliff and Ronnie's story. Yeah. Or, or well, that's a good point. Well, here we go. Now here, I think I just hit on something there. I think it is Cliff and Ronnie's story, which, yeah. which is Adam Driver and Bill Murray, but but being told from the perspective in some ways from Hermit Bob, which is Tom Waits' character. Yeah, he, 
he's almost kind of like a he's almost kind of like a distant narrator a dis- as it were yeah. like he's not he's not the protagonist right. of the story True. but he he plays a big role and he gets to watch everything happen while everything everyone else is going through it so when he comes yeah. in he has this kind of like like top-down viewpoints of the whole situation since he's managed to remove himself from it right and so yeah he offers some pretty interesting perspectives so yeah i I think like you said maybe not his story but got kind of an interesting narrator thing going on there it it adds to it i like it and he he's almost i guess watching with us in some ways yeah and yeah and and explaining uh, to us kind of what's going on you know what i mean Um, yeah and he he waxes poetic a little bit like there are some people who are going to appreciate the you know the ties to, to to pop culture to current events and there are some people who are like you know i didn't come here for this and aren't going to appreciate it right. i thought it was interesting so i i yeah. i got something out of it i don't know if i i don't know if it like made me want to go out and change my life but i thought it was an interesting <laughs> take this so, so yeah he, he was like he was a good addition i think i think it it would have been it wouldn't have been as good of a movie without him i agree with you on that yeah so all the elements putting all the pieces in the different characters the aspects the humor even the gore and even the zombies there's not a crap load of it but it is pretty good and then let's not even and it, there's no reason it's not it, here's a small spoiler or whatever but at the very end you see something that totally you did not expect which again plays off of a, a comedy piece throughout so again if you don't want spoilers which we've already pretty much spoiled the movie i should have said this earlier but um this is definitely going to spoil the very end part so here we go three two one um there is the female actress and her name god i forget her name Hilda Swift. Oh, okay there you go and she's playing this uh she's a mortician right and yeah. and uh, and she's very odd throughout the whole movie. And at the very very end, you find out that she's an alien, which I think you were kind of picking up on some of that, Adam. I think, toward, uh, yeah, as we got towards the end. Bad. I didn't know. I I mean, I was saying she was an eyeball. I thought there was something weird, but I'm like, what is what is her deal? And uh, you remember one of the really uh, funny parts is when they break. Is that the what they call? It? They break the third dimension, or the fifth dimension. We're basically the fourth wall. Oh, the fourth wall. Is that where the actors basically uh, release the information that they know they're in a movie? And yeah, Bill, yeah. Bill Murray's talking to Adam about, I guess, the script or whatever. And, you know, Adam Driver's like, he goes, oh, I got the whole script. And, you know, Bill's like, he's kind of pissed. He goes, <laughs> well, I didn't get the whole script, you know? And it was just so oddball funny. But again, maybe it's just more for those true movie, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. It is just a different take, but finding out that she was a freaking alien and that spaceship coming in. But when Adam Driver looks up, he goes, or one of them, I think he goes, he goes, that wasn't in the script or something. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. I mean, it's just like it, it's almost so stupid. It's kind of like dude, where's my car? Kind of stupid humor. Right. Kind of like yeah, it's like good analogy. And and after everything that happened through the movie, I guess at that point you're just kind of like, well, why not? <laughs> You know, they doesn't even face. Yeah, you're. It's like, yeah, this seems about right. But uh, their fight scene at the end, as the movie's going out and so forth, you got Hermit Bob kind of narrating, which is a decent little narration that he goes on. When, yeah. As I watched, I was like, I wonder if this is almost a little too long, but whatever. All the same, they finish it out, and like you said, and uh, we were talking about the um, just the flow of this today. Everybody pretty much dies. Pretty much. It's a zombie. Right. It's a zombie movie. And tastefully done. Um, the Adam, if you had to give this movie a score one to ten, and you can use point fives, you know, as middle middle ground if you like, what number would you give this? I'd actually go above IV uh I IMDB. Um I think I'd I think I'd go Hmm. I know. I'll go I'll I'll go with a seven. I'll give it a seven. I liked it. And I would, didn't love it, but I like it. Right. And I've been bouncing around on it a lot. Because, again, I've watched this movie about three times now. Almost four, I think. Maybe maybe more than it's do, worth doing. I don't know. But I seven feels right. May, maybe teetering down to a six, five. But, I mean, but it, yeah, but I, that's my other. That was what I was also thinking. It was between six, five, and seven. But go ahead. But, it, but you're right. If I had to call a number and just give it just a one point scale, I think I would toss up to a seven. I they they did a lot of great things in this movie. The cinematography was also good. Like I said, the humor was decent. If you don't mind a little bit of dryness in between, uh, yeah, I think it was great. And we both enjoyed it. I think watching it together. So, um, so yeah. So anyways, that's the dead don't die. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed. 
this review of the movie and uh, you know let us know in the comments I know there's some of you that come back often and, and check us out let us know and if you saw this one because it's been out for a while now so if we spoiled it for you well sorry it's been out for like almost over a year so you definitely should have seen it by now but uh, I'll make sure to call out the next one if we're going to be talking spoilers I will definitely do that for you guys and uh, Adam I hope you enjoyed your experience on your first show here yeah, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Right on. And uh, we'll be coming up with more. Uh, in the future, we're going to be talking some older 80s and 90s flicks. Uh, just some of the, some stuff about the genres and uh, how things have changed over time. Just talking movies in general. That's why we're Z-Man, Zombies, Movies, and more. So this is the movie section. And uh, we hope to have content to you guys weekly, if at all possible. And so we'll get that on a regular basis and maybe on a uh, particular day. I'll see if I can get those posted so you'll know it's coming. And, uh, Adam, if you have anything else to say to the audience, uh, no, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I wasn't too much of a bear to deal with. Uh, look forward to seeing everybody out here again on a future show and we'll get, we'll get more, uh, movie discussion at you in the weeks to come. I'm looking forward to being a part of it. Absolutely. And so with that said, this is the Z-Man show and we will catch you guys at the next review. See you guys. Nice day today. Yeah, I guess it is kind of a nice day today. Oh, <laughs> baby! <laughs> Why doesn't that? Th we didn't even go over anything. Why doesn't it like? It's going uphill. Can you angle it maybe backwards, Larry? Maybe just a little bit. Oh, oh. Well. <laughs> that's more than a little. More than a little. <laughs> we gotta be able to see our face. Okay, well, that's good if it stays. All right. Oh, oh the eraser. Well, well, you know what? We're going to roll with it. We're going to go. Up on grounds. Is, any, is that got any com roads around there? I don't know. Or should I just stay on the highway? Because the highway's got... <laughs> stay on the highway. This works. This works. Yeah, that's true. 141 goes for... We'll go! Oh, no! <laughs> Son of a nutcracker. <laughs>